I see a lot of people on social media talking about longevity, a lot. And everyone thinks, or a lot of people think that it's following the specific guru that is going to tell you which are the list of the 83 supplements that they take to have longevity, to have a better lifestyle. Or which is the cryotherapy that they do at three in the morning that is going to give you the exact tool for living longer. What I want to tell you is that is not necessary. And that is not absolutely the truth. There are things in which we can start doing daily. To me, longevity is not to live longer. It's to have a better health span while you're living longer, to be younger all the time. So I wanna tell you in this video how you're gonna apply these tools and to let you know and to remember that this is in your hands. And also to remember that is this is not just about living. It's not just about adding more years to life. This is about how we feel while we live. This is about being in a body that I really can enjoy, in a mind that I can enjoy. To me, living a better life, it's about paying attention to the physical part of my life, to my emotional health, to all the participation that I have in society. Because we tend to think that society, it's not important. A lot of people are watching now or seeing now, they've read the Blue Zones book or this documentary that it's on Netflix talking about the Blue Zones. What are the Blue Zones? Those areas where people, where we find more centenarians. Sardinia in Italy, Loma Linda, California, and Costa Rica, different places in the world, Okinawa and Japan. These places, to me, the big takeout from the movie, from the book, is that the power of society, the power of building a community, it's more important than any, any given treatment anything and making them something that you really want to live in order to build a body and a mind that you want to live where you want to enjoy and in that way we can be having lifespan which is having more years but also having health span in order to have those years and enjoying them in a better way let me know what are those pillars that you want to bring in and also let me know what is that pillar that we hold on together that's going to be that cornerstone I would love to uh, read you in the comments. So number one, we are going to change or we are going to work in nutrition. All these things are things that, I, that you want that are going to be preventive. They're going to be also therapeutic. So don't think that this is just for prevention. These are things that if you have any chronic condition, you're going to start working in order to bring it backwards or to stop it from growing every single day. If you have, I don't know, diabetes, if you start taking care now of your nutrition, it can get better, or at least it can stop where, where it is. It's also how you balance what you're eating. It's also when you're eating. It's also the social component of nutrition. If I'm anxious, if I'm desperate, if I'm eating without noticing what I'm eating, everything is important. So we really need to get everything in, under control in our nutrition and life is going to be completely different. Number two, it's everything related with physical activity. There is no argument that physical activity is absolutely necessary. And if you want to build something for really making good longevity, please remember to train, move. Physical activity is probably the pillar that people negotiate the most that they fail the most, that they do not perform on a regular basis. And people think, ah, I'm too old for this. How old are you? I'm 45, you're not old. Or they, they think, ah, I'm already in my 70s. Maybe for next life. Uh, really? No, you can start working now. It's never too late. It's never too late to start lifting weights. It's never too late to start doing cardio. Pillar number three, please take care of your sleep. Sleeping, it's a debt that needs to be paid daily. You don't pre-sleep because you're gonna be tired the next week and you don't post-sleep because you were too tired from last week. You sleep every single day. That's why it's a debt that needs to be paid daily. While we sleep, it's not only putting our mind in off. It's recovering from a lot of different things that were not working well in my body. My body, it's regenerating. My body is detoxifying. My immune system is regenerating while we sleep. So sleeping is absolutely necessary and important. Pillar number four, it's meditation or praying or gratitude, but have a mental practice in which you are having a relationship with a mental relationship with something of the, of the past, 
of the present, of an event in the future, of an event in the, from the past, of the present event, to relate with the smell, to relate with a taste, to relate with something you're touching, or something you're feeling, or something you're watching. You can meditate with your eyes closed, with your eyes open, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a mental practice to relate to or with something, it's absolutely beneficial and the benefits and all the data and the science coming behind from this practice that, is, that has been around for many, many years, it's absolutely big. Pillar number five is going to be the management of relations or relationships. We tend to think that relations is how I handle things with the outer part, with the outside, with everything around me. And no, the way I relate to life depends on the way I relate my inner body, with my inner mind, with my beliefs, with my emotions. When I remember that life is my own creation, my own social, emotional creation. If I like something, it's I like something. If I'm too afraid of something, I am the one who is afraid of something. If I'm mad at something, it's me because of my beliefs, because of my way of reacting because of my emotions. Pillar number six, it's the relation with toxins. I see a lot of people in social media saying, oh, oh, please, toxins, oh, come on. They don't matter. There's no problem with toxins. There's nothing going on. They just, you have the mechanisms of getting it out. Oh, really? Oh, okay. You can ignore. So again, we live in a world made of things that are not made for being inside of my body. That cheap splash that has this tropical fruit smell that it's not made from tropical fruits, but it's absolutely artificial. My body is not made for that. But also remember that there are toxic people. And I think that toxic people are people that need to be away from our lives. And pillar number seven, it's discipline. Discipline is not being obsessed and no, no, no. It's doing things every single day, but with love, with compassion, being thankful, being mindful, but non-stop every single day working on my life. I'm going to tell you in a second, which is probably the main pillar for me. While you have this in mind, please remember that you're working on prevention. If you have any medical condition, you're working in other medical conditions not to get them. Work with your physician on checkups. Go and perform a physical exam. Go and perform biochemical exams, images. Go and talk to and see for early detection for different diseases. Cancer, the best thing that we can do is early detection. Cardiovascular disease, the best thing that we can do is early detection and early prevention too. Health is something that we build, that it's constructed on a daily basis. That I'm the owner of my health, but also in the way that I live in a community, it's very important. I told you that I, would, that I was going to tell you which is my main pillar. My main pillar are relationships. Because the way I relate with myself, I'm going to relate with my diet. The way I relate with myself, I'm going to relate with exercise, with toxins, with meditation, with sleep. But I want you to think, which are your pillars? If you want to bring something else, welcome. Bring it in. It depends on you. If you want to take mine, they're yours. If you want to take my list and make it yours, it's absolutely yours. It's not something that it's, it's not a brand of Dr. Carlos. No, no, no. You can take them. They're yours. So guys, building up longevity, it's not about a lot of different, super expensive, difficult stuff. It's something that is created on your own, in your family, in your community, by bringing habits, applying them in a very scientific way. But before you leave, also remember, I was talking about community. And there is a way in which we can still keep on being a community and all of these videos are going to be fast going to you. And it's when you subscribe to the channel. It's not about building more subscribers. It's about building community. In that way, every time we make new videos, you're going to be notified. When we make new videos, you get into YouTube, you're going to see all the different videos that we have done. So this is the what you get when you subscribe to the channel. It's not about me. It's about you. And also remember to just hit the like button. And that way people can know that this was useful for you. And also please remember sharing it with your friends, with the people that you have with your community. And that way we keep building this community. We keep building health. And this is the best way to change the system when we change our mind system. Thank you guys. And I'll see you next time.